All right, well, we are here today at one of our viewer favorites. We are at Finders Keepers, and I am here today to pick up my table and chairs. That is why I am in this enormous vehicle. I hate driving this thing, but I do on occasion. Um, so we are going to head in, and we are going to see what we can find that we can flip for a profit while also picking up the table and chairs that I bought a few weeks ago. So here we go. Well, I already see a few items in here. This right here is really nice. It looks like it's got some age to it. There is an unfortunate crack right there, but because it looks like it's got some age, I feel like there's some damage is expected. But look at that dragon, it's just staring, staring into your soul. I think I'm gonna get, I'm gonna fish that out of there. All right, well, I guess the as is would actually be this repair here, which is kind of a shame because oh, I think I'm still tempted. It's $5. I might, I might still do it. Well, since I have my, uh, my dad's truck, I figured I'd look at some other furniture pieces. Um, this beautiful oak chest of drawers caught my eye not that I need any more dressers I have I have enough dressers for everyone in the house and then extras so I don't really need it unless I was to get rid of one and I, I'm fond of the ones that I have cedar wardrobe Ooh, look at that mirror back there. That's a nice mirror for $30. I love the frame. It's very fancy. For a moment, I thought that was reverse painted, but I don't believe it is. I do kind of like this right here. And I think the reason that I like this is because my grandparents had a bookshelf just like this when I was growing up. And uh, my cousins and I used to always play this game where we would hide stuffed animals. And one of my favorite hiding places was here in the bookshelf with all the books. So this is um, $40. $40. And I might grab it as a piece to put into one of our booths. Um, not for sale, but just to put display stuff on. Since I'm equipped to haul stuff today. I spy some Viking in here. The price is $5.95. This is a Viking epic persimmon piece. I see this called Amberina a lot. Um, but the color is actually persimmon. And I think I will grab this. I like it. All right, well, you know I'm checking out that red rubber plate back there because it's Eldrith and it's absolutely beautiful. I love their redware pieces. I mean, their salt glaze pieces are okay, but the redware, I'm a fan. <laughs> so it's got an apple tree on it and um, I don't know. I just, I really like it. I think one of the reasons is because I used to live in the orchards and so I love apple trees and I love apple blossoms. So I think I'm gonna grab this, it is $20. But I'm going to put this into my pile because it is redware. And the other piece I spotted was actually this rooster plate, which isn't really as exciting for me as the apple tree, but I do like it. It is Eldreth, it's just a cute little trinket uh, plate or dish. And um, so I'm gonna grab that one as well. And I gotta reach. My, I don't think my arm is is that long though. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go in from this side. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
All right, so let's take a peek through the bedroom. <laughs> I love looking through the bedroom and it does change. So um, it's always worth coming in and looking again, even though the closing date is January 14th. They are adding stuff, so I always like to look through here. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, I believe this is a funeral a funeral piece. That's what, I, that's what I've seen places. I'm not positive on that, and I was actually surprised. I'm like, oh, a funeral piece. Um, a lamp of some sort, but look at those, what are those, griffins? Flying creatures. <laughs> it's a shame that some of these are missing. They've got $25 on it. You know, I'm tempted, but it's in pretty rough shape. I mean, it would need entirely rewired. What is this going on here? Is that actually the piece that goes in there? very confused i don't know if that actually goes there or not it's like a whole mishmash <laughs> i'm very confused it's made of pot metal which is this gray metal it's like a m alloy and unfortunately it's chipping but i really like it i don't know that's something i'm gonna have to think about because it's in rough shape. But that's a great price for it. 25 Looks like there's some comic books here. Or wait, maybe not comic books. Are those comic books? It's like a book on comics. And that's pretty neat. Andrew's been selling a lot of comic books out of the booth at Carlisle Antique Mall. That, that's kind of his little project. And he has been selling a lot of ephemera out of there. And he recently just got a bunch of comics, and so they are just... The first night he got them in there, I think he sold like 30 of them, so that's been really cool. Got some glowy glass here. It is as is, and I think because it's missing the little knobby thing, but it kind of just glows looking at it, so I can't imagine what it would look like under black light. Probably pretty cool. Egg cups. I think we've actually had those egg cups there in the back, the clear ones. We've had them in the box and we've sold those before. All right. What do we have here? Wait, there is a bird. Oh, I like the bird. It appears to be a photograph. I think this is a, um, a double yellow headed Amazon. This is Ginny from Chaz to Amanda. Oh, a pair of vintage pictures, and the other one is this lovely family, all dressed up in front of their nice old house. I wouldn't mind metal detecting in front of that. Maybe that's not a family. <laughs> Maybe that's a Sunday school class. Or a regular class, I don't know. But um, the buy it now on this, I think, is, is $8. And really, the only one I want is the bird. But I'll take them. Because I like parrots, and I have a pet Amazon. But, I mean, it's not, wait. Oh, no, did I just do that? Oh, look at this glass. <laughs> My Amazon is a lilac-crowned Amazon, not a double yellow-headed Amazon. Alright, well down here, we've got these cork art pieces, there are three of them. I know that some of the more elaborate ones have a pretty decent resale value, and I'm not sure about these ones though. They seem to be in pretty good condition, a lot of the times the little pieces will come unattached and wiggle around in there. 
It's $30, buy it now. And um, I think I might grab it and sell them individually. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. Resin horse, I feel like I looked at this the last time. I was thinking it was wooden. Is this inverted strawberry? Seven dollars and ninety-five cents. Hmm. Oh wait, look, lions. Forget the inverted strawberries. <laughs> Twelve dollars and ninety-five cents. For some reason, the lions are appealing more to me than the ships. Also, the ships are a little bit more expensive than the lions. I'm digging those lions. I think I'll buy the lions. made in Greece. What? 700 BC. I really don't think they had salt and pepper shakers back then, but I could be wrong. Carnival bowl. I suspect that is Jeanette Glass Louisa pattern. It doesn't very it doesn't have a very high resale value, so that's why I usually don't buy Jeanette Glass. Those are crab dishes. <laughs> wow, doll shaped cookie jar. She's got some weight on her. Not something I would really want to ship. Alright, so back in here there's a lot of clearance items. I usually at least take a look back there, but on this shelf, there's always some good stuff. So, um, medium pottery base. I kind of like this pottery, but I'm taking the Aldress. <laughs> this is the salt glaze. It's a, uh, it's it's different, obviously, than the redware. I don't know why it is that the redware appeals to me more, but they've got uh, 1895 on this. And um, I'm thinking that's probably worth about $30. So there's not enough profit for me to make on that, but it's still a really good deal. So I will pass on it, but somebody will come along and adore that thing. Now, what will we find in here? What is this? Hmm, what, what is this here? Hi. You are one dollar. You are Finland glass. This actually matches the platter that I got not long ago. But this glass is actually from Finland. I've had a lot of luck with uh, finding glass from Finland these days. What else can we find in the clearance room? <laughs> hmm. Well, I will turn you back on when I find something. little Italian bowl with a bird on it for only a dollar. I figure I can at least get five dollars for that, so I will grab that. Oh, 
like this as well. I mean, these, these are just kind of small profit items, but there's still profit to be made. And, you know, those small sales really do add up. I know a lot of people, a lot of resellers turn their nose up at, at small profits, but um, I'm willing to uh, let them accumulate. All right. Got a hen on a nest here, a little green one with a little baby under the wing. For $6.95. I'm not sure who makes this one, but I'm pretty sure the, the little baby chick is what gives it away. That's got some age to it. What do we have here? Oh, it's not marked. It's very cute and dainty though. I might grab that as well. All right, well, I got all the furniture loaded in. A lot of you were asking about these chairs. It looks like they're marked Hunt it's Country Furniture. What does that say? Wingden, Wingdale, Nevada or New York? But, oh, goodness gracious, they fit. Definitely wouldn't have been able to fit these in the Subaru. <laughs> so let's get out of here. Well, it's just a little scary. I'm going to try not to hit the accelerator as I get out of here. Otherwise, we will end up down on the highway. All right. Well, that was a successful trip to Finders Keepers. I feel like we got some good stuff today. I was super excited to find that Eldrith. I'm not going to lie. The redware is my favorite, and I don't know why. It just is. Um, it's got... I don't, you know, I, I was going to come up with some reason why I love it so much, but I just, I can't explain it. I can't put it to words. It's just a thing. <laughs> anyway, um, our total spend was $155, but I'm going to subtract out that bookshelf, the twisty bookshelf, which was $40. So really our total spend was $115. That's what I'm going to go with. I'm not the best at math. Those of you who've been following my channel for a long time know that. But um, I th I'd say we did pretty well. And I'm excited with everything that we got. But now I am at my next destination. I am at the Hermit Hut. I have only been here once before. And it was very fun and exciting. And I found some really great stuff. Because this is my jam. It is crowded. It is cluttered. And it is ripe for the pig picking. I think that's the expression. But anyway, you guys are going to have to wait till tomorrow for this video. So, I will see you then. Bye. Well, that was kind of a bummer. I guess his credit card machine is down. And I don't carry cash. I'm one of those weird millennials that doesn't carry, well, a normal millennial that doesn't carry cash. So unfortunately, I didn't want to like create a whole pile and I'd be like, I don't have any cash. So I'm glad I realized before I started shopping, but I'm going to have to make another trip down here because he's just the sweetest man and he's got a lot of really neat stuff. So if you are ever in the area and the address is Thomasville, uh, 5407 Lincoln Highway West, Thomasville, Pennsylvania. If you're ever in the area, make sure you stop in and see him. I, he said I was his first customer all day. He's, he's it's a little sad. Um, and it's what, it, it's 2.20 in the afternoon, so. Oh, goodness. All right, so I am going to change plans and I am going to head down the road to um, Finders Keepers of Cross Keys. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go to Finders Keepers and um, we're gonna see what we can find there. But we are coming back here soon with cash because I wanna buy some stuff. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you guys in a bit.